Hi, my name's Nicola Dunyon, and I'm Head of Department of Tourism. You may already know this, but at Letterkenny Institute of Technology has two campuses. One, the main campus in Letterkenny, and the second one being here in Killy Beggs. I just would like to start off by saying a warm welcome to you, to the Department of Tourism. Our department couldn't be located in a more perfect location than Killy Beggs in the context of the programmes we deliver. Killy Beggs and its surrounding area is steeped in food enterprises and fish enterprises and as a result of that a number of secondary businesses such as manufacturing. In addition to that, the locality has the most breathtaking and spectacular landscapes and landmarks, which from a tourism point of view, we can only but leverage. Quite simply, we offer two CAO programmes here within the Department of Tourism. A level seven or three degree in culinary arts and a level seven degree in, in hospitality and tourism. Here is just a list of sample modules you will be completing if you were to commence the culinary arts degree at LAT. As you can see from the modules outlined, as well as being taught how to be a top class chef, we also try to educate our students to be all round professionals who are ready for the business world with modules like event management and social media applications. Here are a list of modules you will be completing if you were to commence the hospitality and tourism programme. There are a variety of programmes taught in this degree programme, which allow students to experience language and culture if they so wish, and to gain a rounded experience of what it takes to work in this sector, with modules in areas such as service marketing and staff training and development. A unique selling point of our program is the fact that all students get to experience work placement opportunities. In year three, they have the option of working or studying abroad or completing a work placement within the sector in our region. These work placements are structured and are under the supervision and guidance of academic mentors within LYT and business mentors from industry. Students would enter into the workplace with very clear goals and objectives around what they wish to achieve from the work placement. LYS IT has connections all over the world and students have travelled to countries such as the USA, Dubai, Switzerland, France to both work and study. Some other USPs of the programmes offered here in the Department of Tourism and at LYIT include small class sizes. You're not just a number at LYIT. Classes are in small groups, which really allows for close contact to the lecturer and enhanced peer-to-peer -peer learning. Another USP is the skill set of the lecturing team. The lecturing staff here in the Department of um, Tourism have built up a really strong specialism in their given area and do a fantastic job at imparting information to students. Our alumni from tourism are scattered all over the world and are always ready to help, whether that is to act as a guest speaker, recruit our graduates, or offer work placements. Take the renowned Harvey's Point Hotel here in County Negal. 75% of their kitchen team are made up of LYIT graduates. We stay connected to industry when it comes to developing new programs that will aid industry's need, inviting industry to events, or recruiting our graduates. Of course, another USP is the hands-on, practical learning you will get. The room I'm in here at the moment is the training bar, where students get taught subjects such as beverage operations, or take our mock hotel bedroom facilities here, where students get taught accommodation and facilities. The environments in which we teach our students reflect the environment they will be working in in industry. So, the next question you might wonder is, what type of jobs will I get from these programmes? When it comes to culinary arts, the most obvious career a student will have after completing this programme is being a professional chef. But 
The culinary world has changed a lot over the last number of years, and none other than our graduate Daniel Lambert, who I believe is coming with a live demonstration, has illustrated this by making a culinary profession through social media. A career such as being a food entrepreneur, a food stylist, or owning a catering business are other careers that would not be out of the question after completing this program. With our hospitality and tourism degree, there are a wide range of jobs you could be employed in, as well as sectors. Roles such as reservations manager, front office manager, events coordinator, conference and banqueting manager, would be typical roles assumed after completing this program. Remember, if after completing either of these three year level seven programs, you'd like to stay in education to obtain an honours degree, here in the Department of Tourism, we offer a one year add-on honours degree in both disciplinary areas. At the Department of Tourism, Delway IT, we also offer a number of lifelong learning and continuing education programs. These programs are run repeatedly in the department and are included here in the slide. They include principles and practices of food safety, which is suitable for anyone working or seeking work in a food handling environment, for example, a food deli or food truck to our one-year certificate in culinary skills, which covers the essential skills required to progress your career in the food and restaurant sector. The Management of Food Hygiene program, the Essential Guide to HACCP, will enable graduates to conform to EU legislation provided by the National Standards Authority of Ireland. If you are interested in providing a range of professional guidance services for visitors, then the Certificate in Local Regional Guidance here offered here within the department could be a program um, for you. Successful graduates from this program will be el eligible to register on the National Database of Tour Guides and they will also be eligible to apply for a Regional Guides badge, badge issued by Falcha Ireland. If you are interested in bar and restaurant service, the Certificate in Food and Beverage Operations could be for you. And now I'm going to bring you through the sports programmes which are in existence in the Department of Tourism Sport. We have a long-standing tradition at LYT for delivering sports courses which have grown from strength to strength over the last number of years. As you can see on the slide here that I've presented, there are two honours degree program offer on offer here at LYIT. Firstly, our BSc in Sports and Exercise with degree award options in either PE or Performance. And then secondly, we are proud to tell you about our newly validated BSc in Sports Exercise with Rehabilitation. Just to talk you through these programmes in a wee bit more detail. With our Bachelor of Science in Sports and Exercise, with the award options in performance or physical education. This is a four year program that combines your passion for sports with a successful career progression throughout the course. The first two years of this program provide the core foundations of the degree, while the last two years allow you to specialize. So in essence, what this means for our students is, after you complete year two of this program, you choose whether you wish to pursue the PE or the performance route. Our performance stream pairs research theory with a range of applied performance related areas, including strength and condition, um, psychology and nutrition. Meanwhile, our education stream pairs theory with curriculum based instructional models that focus on how physical activity and sport can be taught through games, aquatics, gymnastics, dance, athletics and outdoor adventure education. Just to give you some examples of higher education establish, establishments where postgraduate education could be garnered, include the likes of University of Limerick in Ireland, where a number of our graduates have went to over the last number of years, Ulster University in Korean, Bangor University, and Ma Manchester Metropolitan, to name but a few. 
Our new BSc in Sports and Exercise Rehabilitation programme is a four-year programme that equips learners with the knowledge and clinical skills to successfully diagnose, manage and treat injuries in high-performance athletes, recreational exercisers and the general public. Some of the modules that you see are listed on the slide and we're also currently undergoing a process with RT to accredit this, our practitioners upon completion of this programme. The other programme we have an offer within the, the Department of Tourism and Sport is the Higher Certificate in Sports Studies. This is a two-year level six programme, but it covers many areas of interest, most of which I might add are taught in, in commonality with our degree programme. But I suppose the one unique thing about this programme, it allows you to exit after two years, but you have to do a short bridging programme if you wish to kind of go on to our level eight programme. This offers an interesting route and a pathway for sports. Or if you're a learner who just wishes to explore sports studies, maybe for a short term period, this programme might be the option for you. So one main feature to mention to you is the fact that work placement is offered in year three of both these degree programmes. This gives students an amazing opportunity to either do placement at home here within your, the region or in your a location of your choice, or equally students can work abroad or complete an Erasmus opportunity. Just to give you an example, on our sports and exercise programme, students have the opportunity to go and st study and work within the Malta Football Association. And just this year, three of our students are going on this work placement opportunity. Equally, we have three students going to Austria to teach PE to secondary schools over there. So you can imagine the opportunity this is presenting to the students of our program. Other key features to mention, that being um, the applied learning of the program. So like I mentioned, a number of the programs are things like gymnastics, dance, aquatics, etc. And the best way to learn those types of modules is by the actual physical act of doing. So quite a number of the modules are taught through applied learning in our sports labs and our strength and conditioning suite here within LAIT. Another USP certainly is the skill set and background of the lecturing team. So a number of our lecturing staff competed at a very high level within sport in their own discipline area and have a broad variety of backgrounds in areas such as coaching, nutrition, strength and conditioning, and experience of working in the fitness sector. I've already mentioned, but we do have state-of-the-art facilities at LAIT. So we have our strength and conditioning suite, as well as our high-performance laboratory, and are continuously making investment in the equipment that our students get exposed to um, in the facilities there that's present for them. For those students that are completing the PE stream, we make sure that at all times are the PE modules that we're teaching are recognised by the teaching council. So just to give you a few examples, the likes of gymnastics and dance, adventure and aquatics, athletics and games are registered modules within the teaching council. Likewise, our degree in sports and exercise is accredited by Reps Ireland. So once you finish our degree program, students of this program are accredited fitness um, instructors and personal trainers. We also have a connection to industry. So our students get exposure to complete quite a volume of national governing badges in the areas of coaching. Um, so students get that opportunity presented to them over the course of the few years of study. The four pillars of sports science is covered in our degree programme, so strength and conditioning, exercise physiology, nutrition and performance analysis. And lastly, it's the employment opportunities that are available to the students. I suppose people um, at, sc at school level might think that the obvious career choice from a programme like this might be a sports coach or maybe a fitness instructor. 
but our graduates leave to do very exciting things in industry. So some are working for governing bodies, for the, the, like the likes of the National Sports Partnership, and um, some are working for large sport, sporting organisations, for example, IRFU, FAI. But equally, there are people that are PE teachers and people in the region with their own, um, with their own enterprises and businesses. Just to go through some of the career opportunities that are mentioned in sport, I've already mentioned some of these, but the likes of a performance coach um, is quite a common type of role that a person would assume. There's the likes of the development officer. We were just talking to the GA last week and they, and they were referencing the, the number of development officer roles that are now available through this organisation. And lastly, the likes of the education and research pathways. So even in the likes of LYIT, some of the um, some of our staff would have gone through this type of route of education to now be working where they are working. So there's quite a broad variety there of um, of careers available. I just thought it would be remiss of me not to mention to you some of our graduates. I could have filled this page with graduates from the department, but I just wanted to show you a variety of people on the slide. So I suppose firstly to point out Stephen O'Reilly there. Stephen was one of our first students to go to the University of Limerick to complete his master's in PE. Um, but now has set up his own sports apparel company where he is selling um, sports clothing to not only in Ireland but worldwide so again that hints at that kind of broad exposure that the course so he's a qualified PE teacher but he has found his career taking him down a different avenue but whilst his degree is still helping him in that area. Another example another graduate is Maggie Farley. Maggie, Maggie has um, really had immense media exposure over the last few weeks as she's the first female to referee a senior inter-county county final and um, so she was um, exposed in the likes of Sky News, RT over the week but Maggie has a very interesting role whereby she works with the Donegal Sports Partnership where she is pioneering that active Donegal initiative and um, so that's another example of somebody that's working in an agency and a sporting organisation. And the last one there is Lisa Shields, who in 2017 went on to UL to do PE and is now a PE teacher. So I suppose the purpose of this slide again is to show you the variety of types of roles that a, an education in sport will, will bring you. The final point I'd just like to mention to you is the fact that after you complete your level eight, I've already exposed you to the type of careers you can be doing. But in addition to that, we have an MSc in sports performance practice available through LYIT. So quite a number of our students who decide to take the performance route um, in the sports and exercise degree, then choose to do the level nine program um, in sports performance practice. The ideal thing about this program is that it's done through blended learning. So we have people on the program who are able to balance work and study um, on this master's. So it, it's a mixture of both online and person. So again, just showing you the opportunities that are present when you complete this program. So that's the supports programs at LYT. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch or you should definitely have a look at our sports programs on our LYIT website.